Hi everyone, my name is Jeffrey Wei and I am the manager of CodeCanyon.net. So I wanted to record a quick screencast specifically for my guys at CodeCanyon, though this will apply to all marketplaces, so keep that in mind. I wanted to go over a handful of areas that I've noticed are a bit lacking and the ways to improve them. So the primary thing I wanted to go over today is branding. Branding is extremely important, and I've noticed that many people don't give it the attention it deserves, and I promise you, you're doing a disservice to yourself if you do so. So I'm going to pick on one person today, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to pick on Chris, and that's because he's a brand new author, and I know for a fact that he's working on his profile page today or tomorrow. So he's excluded from the people I'm picking on a little bit without actually being the target. Okay, so Chris is an author, and... Let's say he doesn't have any thumbnail, as you can see here, and no profile. This is a huge disservice. So again, he's going to fix this, so he's excluded from who I'm referring to. But this is unfortunately far too common uh, among new authors lately. Think of it this way. If a buyer comes to your portfolio and they want to get to know you, they want to know who you are, and if they come here and they see a blank page, well, if you won't take the time to build up your profile, why would they invest in your items? Step number one always take care of your profile. That is paramount. So on that note, let's take a look at a handful of authors on Code Canyon who I think do this exquisitely. So the first one is Gigawatt. Gigawatt is our number two top selling author on Code Canyon, and they do this exquisitely. Notice they have a nice and clean preview. They have a thumbnail that corresponds perfectly to their item page. Consistency and branding is important. Now if we scroll down, we can see that they do a handful of things here. First, it's littered with links and this is important. They need to link to their website because use our marketplaces to promote your own business as well. Many of our authors sell on their marketplaces but then they also pick up freelance work in the process. Next, notice here, subscribe to our product updates. This is important. Now you can do this by going to marketplace.com slash feeds slash users slash and then the username. Next, they also have a link to their social media accounts. However, you can also scroll down to the bottom and you can add social profiles within the sidebar and this will be available to you from your accounts page. Now, if I click on Gigawatt's profile, you're gonna see another thing, consistency. This is key. If you look at all of their items, you'll notice that every single one of them is perfectly branded. So if I look at this item and then six months down the line, I see a new item pop up on the homepage, I'm gonna know immediately who it's by because he has his gigawatt branding, the title, and then a little picture of the image. This is extremely important and it's not done enough. You have to brand each and every one of your items. Now, do the images and thumbnails make up the entire item? No, of course not. If the code in our case, if the code is not there, it's not going to sell as well as it should. However, if you have an amazing item, but terrible item preview images and thumbnails, it's going to drastically affect your sales. Now notice they also have extremely clean item images. Now if you're not a designer, that's okay. You can still keep it clean, but don't try to take it too far if you don't naturally have design skills. But you can see here, Gigawatt does a fantastic job of promoting their items. They have the installation, they use lists, to make it easier to consume, they use headings. This is a perfectly sold item. Next, let's take a look at Sitebase. Sitebase Wim is our number one author on Code Canyon. And again, look at the branding between his thumbnail and his profile image. If we scroll down, he very cleverly has links. Now, these are just images, but you can do this from your edit page of your profile. He links to his RSS feed, his Flickr, Twitter, his website, and YouTube. This is important. Notice all of the branding, and this really pays off because as a buyer, if I notice that he puts this much effort into his profile page, I can be 100% certain that his items are going to be top quality, and of course they are. Next, he updates his featured file often. You can do that again from your accounts page. So if we view his portfolio, we can see his branding as well. So you can see, similar to Gigawatt, he has his name front and center, then above it, the name of the item, and then a nice little image. So if we view this one, 
Notice he keeps it simple, but it's still beautifully made. He again reiterates that branding that he did in his thumbnail. He has the browsers that it's compatible with, and immediately I know this is a way to target specific items. If I never saw the title, I could tell from the image how he's branding it. If I scroll down again, he just has a little bit of information, but then again, he records a video. And this is really important, especially for the items where you can't risk offering a live preview. You can go to a site called screener.com. It's a free service, and you can record a 45-second preview of your item's functionality, and I promise you this pays off. So be sure to consider that screener.com. It's 100% free. Next, we have Episera. Episera is Brandon Jones. He's also the author of Web Design Tuts. He's most commonly on ThemeForest, but they do submit a handful of items to Code Canyon, most notably WordPress plugins. Now, their branding here is you can see that each item has this little unique area right here where it's straight, and you'll notice that every single one. So even though they're not pasting their name all over the thumbnail, I can know whenever I see a new item on the homepage if it has this little bit of branding here, I know exactly who it is. So let's click on one of these WP Geo Tagger and look at that. It's beautifully made, though very simple. Just a map with the opacity down, a computer, and a few tips. That's all you need. But notice how they have Pro next to each item. And you'll see this branding reiterated. Let's go to Twitter Widget Pro and you'll see it there. If we go to another one, Events Calendar Pro, again, you see that repeated. And the last person we'll take a look at, Creasy, who is the number one author on ThemeForest. He's incredibly amazingly successful. You can see he's made 19,000 sales since he joined probably less than two years ago. So if we view his portfolio, you can see that he doesn't use a specific form of branding, though it's incredibly neat. He uses a nice little shadow on the left side and then he has a nice little bit of padding and border around it. So if we view one of these, you'll see again, perfectly made item preview image. If we view the feedback box, again, perfectly made but very clean and this is what makes items sell. Again, if we scroll down to the item page, you can see that he too links to his RSS feeds, social media, as well as add items of Creasy Deer and Votto front page. So what this does is by going to the marketplace.net slash user slash username slash follow, people can keep up to date on what you're doing. So you can see here the people that I follow are going to be shown right up here. Very nice. So that's the extent of what I wanted to go over. It seems very simple, but unfortunately, it's not done enough. So remember, brand every single one of your items. Make sure each new item follows the same branding of your previous item. Always decorate your profile. Keep your profile updated. And lastly, never underestimate the importance of every item page image. Possibly the most important thing because people, unfortunately, do judge books by their cover. So even if you're a developer, you might want to take some time to really put some effort into making the perfect item page images and thumbnails. 